Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another current household video and I actually haven't done an update video for this current household yet. This is my new current household, the Gibson household. There's just one sim in here to start with. Um, and if you don't remember, but I made a current household update of my Babs Lamore current household back in December. And I was just saying that I want a new current household to play with because I feel like that one's getting a little bit boring now. And you know, they've, you know, we went from the bottom and worked themselves up in their career and things and it's just getting a little bit boring so I wanted a new challenge and that's what I uh, decided to do this with this current household um, but she's actually been working very very hard and she's kind of like worked herself more than the other current household did and I'll explain all of that in a second um, and if you want to see my other current household then I did a series back in August of 2016 and another update in December and um, it was six parts all together um, so you can go and have a look at those so but now we're with this new current household she's called Carla Gibson and I actually did do a create a sim video of her a little while ago and um, it is just a Friday morning here and just just woke up. I have been playing with this current household for probably about a month or so now, actually. Um, and as you can see, she has over 250,000 simoleons. Um, and she has worked very, very hard. When she first moved to Willow Creek, she was just spending weeks and weeks and weeks, not even like talking to anyone. She was just working so, so hard. She writes about two books every single day, and that's where she gets her money from. Um, and, you know, she struggled for the first couple of weeks, and then she just worked herself, you know, really, really hard. And um, she's made a good living for herself. But she still isn't just in this basic house in Willow Creek. But what I did do is add another floor onto it. I mean, it does look very, very ugly, as you can see. But it was... In oh, my God. These are two different colours as well. <laughs> well, um, let's just forget about that. Um, but, you know, this room is just empty because we don't really need all the rooms. Um, but I just wanted to expand the house a little bit because I thought that she wants to save up her money. But she doesn't want to buy a new house yet, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I just expanded it a little bit. Uh, this is her bedroom down here. Um, but today she actually wants to buy a new home because she is aging up soon. And she wants to settle down and have a child uh, with someone. And she does have a lot of romantic relationships going on. And I'll explain that in a minute as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so she, she wants to settle down with someone. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to wait and see who that'll be. So let's have a look at the people that she has relationships with. So she actually has about five or six um, relationships going on here. Um, as you can see, we've got Akira, we've got Nixon, Damien, uh, Salem, Salem, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, Victor Mitchell. Um, so she just doesn't really, she just wants to, this is something that happened a little while ago. She just felt that she was young and she wanted to live a little bit and things and just experiment and try and find who she wants to settle down with. And, you know, she's kind of carried on all these relationships because she doesn't know how to like break it off with anyone she likes all these people she doesn't know who to break it off with so we're gonna have to decide on someone because she wants to move in with someone but she doesn't know what to do she has a lot of options so she's kind of looking in that way i suppose um but you know she's got that decision to make um i'm gonna get it attend the garden just clean up the house a little bit we don't really need to because we're going to be moving soon actually uh you know what i actually might do is put these plants in the household inventory because when we're we're going to go and have a look in the gallery in just a second and i don't want to lose any of these plants that's what i'm going to do now um she does work very very hard on her um uh, the garden and things like that as well as her you know her work and things because you know, that's just, she just wants to have a lot of money and that's something that she really enjoys as well. Um, so the rest of the stuff, I don't know what else we need to keep because, you know, everything else we can just replace, to be honest. Um, she did get a couple of awards from work, so I might actually get those. Um, let's just see if there's anything else I want to take. Um, everything else could probably be sold. So everything on the bottom floor seems to be okay. Um, anything up here? Nope, I'm just checking on the walls to see if I've like put anything down that I haven't really like thought of. Um, let's see. So she can replace those stuff and in this bathroom as well. I think that's pretty much the same. So yeah, that, that's oh god, what happened to my voice there? Oh, one more thing. Let's just look at the lot trades. She has Quake Zone, uh, fast internet, and homey. That's the homey one's probably why she's you know good with all this stuff because she has that lot trade. Fast internet, I got that because she's right then. She's using the computer all the time. And then Quake Zone is just something I don't know why, but I. I love that lot rate it's just so like interesting for some reason i know it doesn't really do anything apart from giving you a tense moodlet so it's kind of a waste of time to be honest but i might change it it's just a nice one to have um so we're going to look for lots we're currently on a 20 by 15 but could maybe you know move out to another one actually um let's see so let's do that and then the most popular ones so there isn't really a whole lot here that you know is for this lot type so i think what we're going to actually have to do is oops sorry i just hit my <laughs> thing there um is actually move to another lot so where could we 
go. I don't really know. This one maybe over here, but like I don't want this house. I might get another one off the gallery. Um, so I'm thinking. I don't know, but I might you know bring memories back and stuff because. You know, she just lives over the road. <gasps> the other thing is, you know, Nixon and Damien, who I was just telling you about, they both live in this house. They're actually roommates. Uh, room, I don't know how I said that. Roommates. And there's some other people as well who she's got romantic relationships with in these houses, I believe. Um, so, you know, it's it's really awkward. And, like, he, one of them is coming over to her house and stuff. Anyway, um, hopefully when we move away, that might not be as much of a problem. So, what we're going to do, I think I'm going to go back in here and then just select um, move house. How do we do this again? This is probably very, very boring. I'm not, if this is going to take too long, I'll probably just cut out the video because I just want to get to, like, the gossip and stuff. Um, let's see. So, let's move household and see how we could do it this way. Final goodbyes to this house. Um, we did spend a lot of time here, actually. And um, I know this house looks, like terrible how I've done it Um I just did it very very quickly because you know like I said she wanted to expand a little bit but you know didn't really know how to do it and she wanted like I said to save up her money to just focus on her career purely she's also I didn't mention at the top of the uh, writing career uh, she just like I said worked really really hard on it so I think she deserves her success Um so where should we move into we've actually got the, <laughs> the uh, home alone house here from when I did that little home alone creative sim a little while ago back in December um, and you know I made the little machine at the start I did it in the home alone house there uh, this is actually quite a nice house over here I think I might move into this one the 40 by 30 um, and let's evict the people that are already there. Um, I think she's friends with the people who've got it in there. Uh, how do we do this? Sell furniture because I just want the house to, you know, keep how it looks. Uh, so let's move over there. And then I'm going to look on the gallery again and have a look to see if there's any houses that we like. So this was a 40 by 30 lot. So what I'm going to do is just um, pause the recording here. I'm going to have a little look on the gallery and then I'll come back once we've found something. Okay, so we've finally decided on a new house. It took me quite a while to find one that I liked. Um, we did actually change lots, like, a couple of times. And we're now at a 30 by 21, which is a little bit smaller. But I suppose that does mean that she has a little bit more money left over. And um, we did go with this one, which I really, really liked. Um, it's kind of like a family suburban type of... Um, home uh, there is a little bit on the site here which I didn't even know about which I quite like over here uh, the garden is quite small but I suppose we could maybe change stuff up about it there is a lot of space back here but that's not part of the lot which is a little bit annoying uh, this is at the uh, Potter Splay um, lot in Willow Creek it's just another neighborhood over from where she used to live so I'm going to just give you a little tour around the house so We've got quite a big living room over here with a fireplace and then this big TV set. We could maybe actually change this TV into a bigger one, actually. That one's just a smaller one scaled up. Um, and over here, I've got like a big dining and kitchen area. I really, really like this kitchen, actually. It's nice and big. Um, we also have two bathrooms next to each other. Kind of got this one, which has got like... Well, I thought it would be two like half bathrooms, but actually not. It's two full-size bathrooms next to each other. And then we have a spacious bedroom over here. And then upstairs, kind of got like a kid's room over here for two kids over here. I don't know if that's telling us something. And um, another big bathroom over here. And then another kid's bedroom. And then up here is kind of like an open space where there's a desk where she can do her writing work. Um, but yeah, that seems to be pretty much it for the house. It is a nice house, actually. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm going to make a couple of changes probably um, over as time goes by. But, you know, uh, you'll see that in future updates. So let's continue with the day. So... She's having to be in a new house now. I think what she should do is maybe invite somebody over, um, you know, just to further decide on who she wants to settle down with and maybe move into this house with. Um, I mean, she's already moved in, but to add somebody else to the house. Um, but for some reason, she kind of seems to be going more towards Nixon, but he kind of has a weird past. You know, he's not very... He's, he lives with Damien, who, you know, they're both kind of like... They've had a criminal-related past, so it's a little bit dodgy to get into this sort of thing, but, you know... I guess if we get to know him a little bit better, then we may find out who he like, what he's truly like. So let's um, come over here and say hello to him, just get to know him a bit, and, um, well, that might help. And uh, just, you know, ask about his day and things. I'm not too sure who she should actually move in with, so what I want you to let me, well, what I want you to do is let me know down below in the comment section which person you think will be best for um, Carla. So we've got quite a few people here lined up, so we need to decide on somebody. So hopefully in the next update we will have decided on someone. Um, but yeah, so it is her birthday in a couple of days' time. I think we might just age her up now, or should we wait? I, th I think we might just wait, actually. Um, you know what? I think we should maybe just jump straight into it. I don't know if Nixon's going to be the right person. And, you know, she's kind of sit standing here looking at him and starting to have second thoughts already for some reason. I don't know why, it's just... 
He's, oh, I don't know, it's weird because when he went over to his house to talk to his roommates and stuff, and he lives with other people as well, um, they kind of told him about his past and that it might not be a great idea to get with him. So, oh God, I think, I don't know if this is going to be the right decision for her. I think she's already thinking straight away that this might not be the best thing to do. So, um, what she actually gets on best with is Salem, or Salem, I don't know, <laughs> said the same name twice. Um, she seems to get on best with him, so I'm thinking that this might be the best person to go with. Um, and you know what I think I'm going to do? I know I said, uh, can you ask me, like, let me know in the comments section, but I think we're just going to jump straight at him. I think that would be the best thing to do. So that's what I'm going to do, so swap over people. <laughs> wow. Oh, and Eliza came over. I actually did, oh my god, not a welcome wagon, please, bye. <laughs> Um, well, actually, I did a makeover of her, not in this game save, but I did a makeover of Eliza. This video might not be up just yet, but I did do that uh, the same day I'm recording this video, actually. So, um, I'm, oh, that's another thing I should mention. Today is the 21st of January. You're probably seeing this maybe into February even. Um, I know vampires will be coming out a couple of days after this I'm recording this, so... I hope you're enjoying that pack. Anyway, let's um, invite him over. I oh, did we already do that. I think we might have already done it. Yeah, there he is. So let's go over and say hello to him. And I think, you know, this is the one that he that we want to be with, but what she wants to be with. Um, I think they already are. No, let's ask him to be his boyfriend. I know I haven't seen each other in a couple of days, so I think it's a, you know, a big thing to jump to, but that's what they've just done. And I missed the interaction to take a screenshot, but oh well. So now they have actually became, you know, progressed a little bit. I think what she wants to do is actually ask him to move in. I know this is the first update I'm doing of this household, so it kind of looks like we're jumping into things a little bit, but you know, oops, sorry, I just hit my microphone. Um... This is something that, you know, they have been progressing the relationship for quite a long time now. So, I mean, yeah, I should have done some more stuff before we jumped straight into this, but oh well. And maybe she's making the wrong decision for moving him in and, you know, progressing the relationship like this right now. I don't know if that's going to be a good decision. Like I said, it seems to be something that they're jumping into a little bit, but we're going to have to wait and see. I hope it's going to work out because, you know, I think this is the person that she wants to be with so i'm gonna move him into the household i see how much money we get from uh, bringing him in i think he's like a painter or something um so let's still sell his lot furnishings so we don't you know have an empty apartment i hear that i always make that mistake when i'm moving people from house to house and i forget to click sell all our furnishings but then there's like just an empty lot then it doesn't really look right so I always click sell all our furnishings just to make sure so it doesn't you know ruin the rest of the world i mean it doesn't ruin it but you know what i mean anyway um if, hopefully this loading screen is going to take too long otherwise i'll just cut it out but we're kind of waiting a long, long time now then i'm going to say okay i'll be back in a minute and then as soon as i do that the thing will be you know done and for some reason everything has completely frozen i'm hoping that my voiceover hasn't frozen as well oh i don't know Right, I'm going to pause the recording here because it seems to be taking a while and I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, so they have moved in now and I don't know where Salem is. Oh, just standing there, okay. Um, I'm going to see what job he has. Oh, he's missing work. Um, he is a blogger. All oh, right, he's in the social media career. I didn't know that, actually. Uh, wait, no, is he? I don't know. I think this is the... Wait, which career is this? I can't even tell. Um, where does it tell you what career it is? I don't even know. Well, writing skills, so I suppose it is... Wait, how on earth are you supposed to tell? Wait, let's go into her view and then go to relationships and see there. Um, he is a writer. So, oh yeah, all oh, right. They're both in the same career. I didn't even know. I thought he's like a painter or something. <clears throat> So, uh, that's good then. So they're both in the same career, so they'll see each other at work. Even though she's a bit more progressed in the relationship, in the, oh my god, in the career, I mean. Hopefully he's not going to get, like, jealous of that or anything. I don't think he would, but you know. Um, so, she is going to be aging up soon. I think what it might be a good idea to do now is maybe have the party tonight. I think that might be a good idea. Um, so I'm going to get her to come and <laughs> cook her own birthday cake. Um, so which one should I have? I'm thinking maybe just, like, a white cake. Uh, she's just kind of a simple person, so just something plain like that. Let's go make that and we'll have a party. Now, she doesn't actually have a whole lot of friends, which, I mean, is a little bit depressing. But apart from, you know, all her, like, these romantic relationships she has, she doesn't really have any proper friends apart from, like, maybe one or two other people. So, you know, it's hard for her in that way. And that was something that she kind of made a mistake on. Like, she would just work so, so hard that, you know, even though she kind of benefited her and getting all this money, she didn't really make any friends, which, you know, is a little bit of a disappointment, I suppose. But... You know, it's not too late to turn that around. So I'm going to get her to make this cake and we're going to have the party tonight. Can you? I think we've got enough time here. 
everything takes too long on The Sims, so we'll probably be like here at like 2 a.m. still trying to wait to age her up. Um, and she actually wants to start a family. That's something she's been wanting to do for a long, long time. So that's something we could actually do as well. Oh, and she's actually mastered the cooking skill as well. Okay, that's great. Um, okay, please don't. I'm going to add birthday candles just to make sure nobody takes a piece. Um, I'm not going to age her up just yet, though. So, I'm going to um, actually have a birthday party now. So, let's plan a social event. Um, let's do it here. I think my time is going to go off any minute. Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot to unpause it from like eight minutes ago. Oh, well, let's just finish this up and then we'll uh, come back. So, where we're going to have a birthday party and... The birthday sim is going to be her. And guests, let's see. So I don't really want to invite over these people she has romantic relationships with. Because I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but let's invite over some holiday. And this person she seems to be friends with. Um, Victor, I mean... Well, she doesn't really even know him. Um, Akira, oh god, I don't know because, oh no. You know, she has a really good relationship with him as well. This is going to be really, really hard for her. She's going to have to find some way to, like, you know, let him go. And I don't know how she's going to be able to do that. But we'll, we'll find a way. We won't worry about that now. Uh, Haley's the other person she's kind of friends with. Like I said, she doesn't really have any friends, so, you know. Um, so let's just invite over a couple of people there. There isn't really that many coming, but that's okay. And let's have um, Akira come as well. A mixologist we could because we do have a bar there in the kitchen right here so let's do that and there we go so we're just going to have it at the house if we can find that somewhere uh please say this is an option yes good <laughs> okay so they're having the birthday party now and they're changing into their party wear probably yep uh let's see what salem's party wear is like did i oh damn i forgot to invite him um oh well oh well he's at the house but i mean he isn't part of the group so Oh no. Oh great, some holidays in a bad mood. Oh my god, he doesn't even have a top on. Oh great, this is gonna be a mess. Oh great, okay. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, let's just wait until the people come. Oh my god, I selected a prestige event. I hate it when I do that because it like, makes it more of a challenge and I don't want it to be like that. Um. Oh. Oh well, they don't seem to be getting on well, which is a bit of a shame. Oh no. <laughs> God. So let's uh, just thank for coming, I guess. And we'll do that with him as well. Don't know why he doesn't have a top one. It's a bit irritating. Um, it's that random CC. Oh my God, I can't speak. CC thing. Um, can we get him to thank him for coming? There we go. Here's the caterer coming. Do we know this person? Do I don't think so. Uh, I've got the mixologist there as well. Do we invite this person? Hmm, cool. I don't know who that person is, to be honest. Um, we don't even seem to know her, actually. So let's just do a friendly introduction and then invite her in as well. And, oh, the Spice Festival's in town. And, yes, yeah, so what is he doing? Why is he just standing there? Can we invite him in? Well, I mean, it's, it's his house, so let's just get him to come inside. Um, so, oh, you can nap in that chair. Okay. <laughs> Don't really want him to do that just at the minute. Um, so the caterer seems to be making a cake as well. So we're going to have two cakes. Everybody seems to be here now. So what I'm going to do is actually just age her up now. So let's do that. Where we're going to do this. Uh, blow out the candles and age her up. Um, as you can see, she is very, very skinny. Um, she works out a lot. And I think we need to control that a little bit. She seems to be working out too much. Um, what are we doing? I don't know why we're going all over here. Oh. I don't know what she was doing there. Um, but yeah, so let's blow out the candles. Um, let's see if I can get a, a good screenshot here. Um, oh, kind of missed it. Um, oh no. So let's try and get a good screenshot here. Oh, that's what it was. I need to put walls up. Um, okay, so I want to try and take a screenshot here. I've missed it, but I mean, I suppose I could get something. There's just confetti everywhere. Um, let's try and take a couple more. And I missed it. Oh, damn. There was a person in the background. Oh, well, that means I won't be using that for the thumbnail. <laughs> and I'm trying to, like, click... Why is it not going? I'm... Oh, my God, it's not working. Oh, because <laughs> we've got this. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but this window has actually changed since we've got the toddler update. I think it was toddler update. But I've noticed that this interface has changed a little bit. So... Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement and midlife crisis is a way the perfect time to start wrapping up those lifetime goals Even though one of her lifetime goals was to have a kid and she still hasn't had that yet But now we're, we're we oh god I can't speak We have moved in with the CLM that's something that we can actually do now which is great um, So I'm going to get them to come over and call everyone to a meal Which, which one's got the best quality? Uh, I think they're both excellent quality, so yeah. Um, so let's um, call to meal. And I mean, we do have a caterer here to actually make proper food, but I, where, I don't know where she's going. Why can't she just prepare the food here, but she's going off somewhere else? 
Anyway, um, let's get it to have some cake. I know this part wasn't that eventful. Um, it didn't go as dramaful as I wanted it to be. But, you know, we'll still have more opportunities to do another Cohen household in the future. I mean, I just didn't think this part was um, as exciting as I wanted it to be. So I'm sorry about that. I have been recording a lot today, so I'm starting to get kind of tired. But um, that is it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed Leave some suggestions down below about what you think we should do with the other people who have romantic relationships with. Let me know about what you think the future for Carla and Salem is now. Um, as you can see here, she doesn't really seem to be looking too happy, which is a little bit surprising. I thought she would be, you know, more happy considering everything that just happened today. Um, but, you know, it, it maybe it's just the food isn't that good. I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping she hasn't made the bad, uh, wrong decision here, but we're going to have to wait and see. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.